So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. Stay tuned to the end to find out how you can be one of three lucky winners to get your hands on an Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. So watch the video, enjoy, and catch you at the end, guys. What's a YouTube day him himself all games? Bringing you a test hand video for Salaman Greats. Now, of course, this deck came out um, the other day. And there's a lot of hype around it, uh, admittedly so, of course, with an Ash Blossom reprint. Not to mention it is one of the most powerful structure decks that we've had in a long, long time. So I thought, what better than to give you a couple of test hands, two going first and two going second, to show you the consistency and common plays that you can make with this deck. So, after a decent shuffle and a very good cut, our open hand of five will be one, two, three, four, five. So we've actually got an incredibly powerful hand. These are like the three best cards in the deck. So there's a lot of plays you can kind of do with this one. You need, don't need to rely on Lady Debug so much in this one. We're going to do a standard um, defensive play using Spiny and Gazelle. So we're going to normal summon the Spiny. I'm going to link Spiny away into, not Helio, <laughs> that's a bit of a jump, uh, we're going to go into our Bellinix. Now, Bellinix's effect is going to go chain link 1, Gazelle will go chain link 2. Gazelle will summon itself uh, and send one of the trap cards, so ideally we want to go with our Raw, it's probably the most powerful one, that's going to go to the graveyard. Bellinix is then going to go off to give you your reincarnation, so the better reincarnation, not the... Uh, <laughs> Not the trap one. Uh, it's the Salomon Great Sanctuary. Uh, then what we can do here is we can use Spiny's effect in the graveyard to bring itself back, overlay these guys, and go into your Mirage Stalio. Detach material. Now remember, if you detach Spiny, it won't get banished because it is going as a material, not as a um, monster. So we detach off of Mirage Stalio. That will then allow us to summon one of the Grave Revivers. So ideally, we're going to go with... There you go, Jag Jaguar. Then what we're going to do is we're going to link the Bellinix and the Jag Jaguar into our Sunlight Wolf. There we go, so we've got the Roars, we've got the Jag Jaguar, we've got that. You can then use the Sanctuary to play over here. That then allows you to reincarnate uh, Sunlight Wolf into another copy of itself. There we go. That then gets you the trigger off of Raw. So Raw is um, when you link someone a link monster, uh, sorry, a Salaman Great link monster is linked someone to your field using a monster with the same name. You can set this card, um, but banish it when it leaves the field. Alternatively, you could trigger Sunlight Wolf's effect just to add this back so it doesn't get banished in um, on itself. We then, of course, have Jag Jaguar's effect. Um, so... We can target one in our graveyard, so we want to put the Sunlight Wolf back. Special summon out the Jag Jaguar to his own Wolf points to. That would then trigger Wolf's effect to add back one of the spell traps, but we've already done that, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, obviously, when this is summoned as well, we get to add a Fire Monster back, so you can add Gazelle back to your hand as well if you wanted to. Or, of course, you can summon, uh, switch Benenix back to the extra deck, I believe. So this is just a standard play, set you call by the grave, that's just an additional extender. We still have three cards in hand, our opponent tries to play, we've got call by the grave, we've got raw, uh, and then of course we've got ash blossom. So we've got three mining negates on board. If you wanted to, of course, you could start linking these further up. Um, if you, you could go into um, a Bellinix, you could go into a Heat Leo, but that would just be overextension for the sake of overextending, or to kind of bounce around a raw sphere mode if you fear um, that. But straight off of that, like we saw, we got um, a nice easy negate, and that was all off of two cards. And again, the, going the OTK version, um, that hand would have got you a nice easy um, kind of kill. But the defensive version as well, um, you could have gone a little bit further uh, and added a rage to that as well. So we're going to shuffle that up and go for our second test hand going first, being one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is another interesting play around with this one, uh, going with Lady Debug being our additional Stratos. Alternatively, you could activate Circle as well. By doing so, we can still extend our board quite nicely. So we'll normal summon the Lady Debug. Lady Debug effect will go off. 
and we want to be adding ourselves the best card in the deck. Have we just gone past it? Nope. Uh, and that is Gazelle. We could then activate Circle as well and get Spiny. This then allows us to put Spiny in the graveyard as well. So you discard this card. Um, if we control a Salamander Great card, we discard this card. Uh, target one face-up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. If you control a Salamander Great monster other than itself, uh, and this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. So this just allows us to extend a little bit further, because what we're going to do is we're going to turn Lady Debug into our Bellinix. That is off as chain link one, Gazelle is chain link two. We don't need to add Sanctuary, so what we can do is we can add the Raw, and we can send the, uh, sorry, add the Rage, send the Raw off of Gazelle. Use um, Spiny's effect to target Bellinix, or of course Gazelle if you wanted to, just to get this into the graveyard. That then allows us to use Spiny's effect to bring itself back. Overlay Spiny and Gazelle and go into your um, Mirage Stallio. Detach Spiny if you want to, or the other one. Spiny obviously goes to the graveyard because it's going as a material, not as a monster. That then allows you to summon a level 4 or lower from uh, Salaman Great. So you want to be going ideally for Fox or, of course, Jaguar. So by going to that, just so you've got the recurrence from the graveyard. So shuffle that up. We're going to link the Bellinix and the Jaguar together and go into our first Sunlight Wolf. Um, that then allows means that we have Jaguar's effect is now live in the graveyard um, and then we are set up for the raw to come back as a reincarnation. So then what we could do here is got multiple ways of going around this is we can just straight up activate the field spell, turn Sunlight Wolf into another Sunlight Wolf to get the raw back. And then of course we can go the Jaguar back and the Jaguar would then let us add the Spiny back or the Bellinix back as well if you wanted to. So that's one route of going around it. Alternatively you can bring back the Jaguar already as is. Trigger off the Salamangre uh, Sunlight Wolf's effect, add back the Spiny. Um, then you can just link these up if you want to save the field spell, not you need to really save the spell, field spell right now. Um, that then triggers Sunlight Wolf's effect. Sorry, that would have triggered Sunlight Wolf's effect. Um, and then we need to use the field spell to go into the second Sunlight Wolf, then bring back Jaguar to then trigger um, the Raw. Raw would then be set. So you'd then have the Raw set, you'd then have um, a Call by the Grave set, and you'd also have the Rage set as well. So when your opponent tries to make a monster, if you want to pop more cards on your opponent's side of the field, then you get rid of the Wolf and the, the Jaguar and go into your Leo. That then allows you, if your opponent does anything, you go Rage, Target, uh, Heat Leo, lets you pop three cards, Call by the Grave to stop any hand traps, and then of course Raw just to do an out and out neg on your opponent. Still leaves you with two cards in hand, um, and then if the worst comes to worst, you do have the gimmicky uh, mole that you can play just to kind of shuffle your stuff back in and get a draw off it as well. Uh, and you still have the Mirage Stallio plate, um, so you can play that again next turn, and that will then put um, your Gazelle into the graveyard as well. So, that is just quite straightforward. They're just very, very standard plays. You want to be ending up at least with the counter trap on board um, to cause your opponent a heck of a lot of issues. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle this up and then we're going to do another nice hand going second, try and show you what the sixth card does and how consistent the OTK potential is. So, after a very decent shuffle and another decent cut, our opening hand going second will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, Spiny just loves us. Now we still have the um, best kind of play here. All we want to be doing is we want to go into Circle. Circle then adds us a Salaman Great Monster from our deck. So no surprises what we're going for there. We're going to go straight into the Gazelle. Now, we're going to normal summon the Spiny. If, let's say our opponent trusts Hand Trappers, we're going to call by the Grave them. Normal summon the Spiny. Uh, link off the Spiny into our Bellinix. Chain it one, chain it two on the Gazelle. Gazelle comes down. Um, Gazelle then sends. Usually you would send the Fusion of Fire to add that back, um, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Bellinix is going to add the Sanctuary, uh, Gazelle is going to send the Fox, or of course the... Let's go with Jaguar, we'll add Fox back later as well. So we can extend our board like crazy far. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to use Spiny's effect to bring itself back. Overlay Spiny and Gazelle into the Mirage Stallio. Detach a Material and Special Summon out the Fox. There we go. Now we've got another recurrence to come around as well. 
Then use Fox and Belenix and go into your wolf. Now obviously if the zone is already occupied here, you'd go put the wolf here. Not a major issue either way. So that's the first use of the wolf. Uh, and then what we can do is we'll use Fox's effect in Graveyard. Uh, so we discard a Salamand Great card. This spiny is of no use to us uh, as right now. We're going for the kill. So we want to discard that. Bring back Foxy. Um, that would then trigger uh, Wolf's effect and that allows us to add back one spiny. Uh, but I don't believe we can use the effects of it this turn. Cut normal summon or special summon monsters. Um, the turn we use this, but it does mean we can still use this effect in the graveyard to boost something by 500 if we wish. So that's Foxy. Uh, you then use Foxy and Wolf to go into another Wolf. This then triggers um, Wolf's effect once we bring something back to the grave. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Jaguar's effect this time, come back there. That will then trigger this one to go off and that will allow us to add um, Salaman Great Spell or Trap back from our hand. So we're going to add our circle. Not really um, end all be all, but you're absolutely fine on this one. Uh, and then what you want to be doing is you can then get rid of this wolf and the Jack Jaguar and go into your Heat Leo. Um, then you want to be using the Field Spell to go into Sanctuary to tag out this Heat Leo and go into another Heat Leo. Now, of course, if you wanted to, instead of using Jaguar, you would use Mirage Stalio. This then, of course, lets you spin um, one of the threats back as well. But now that we've re uh, reincarnated Heat Leo, um, target one card in your opponent's spell and track card zone, shuffle it into the deck. Once per turn, during the main phase, if this card was linked to someone using itself as a material, you can take one face on monster on the field and one monster in your graveyard. The attack of the first target becomes equal to the other's target. So what you want to be doing is you want to be targeting, where are you? You want to target your Balanix to make one of your opponent's monsters 500. That being said, what you then want to do is activate your Fusion of Fire. Uh, and we want to use the Heat Leo and the Mirage Stalio. to go into our Violet Chimera. Now Violet Chimera gains half the attack of um, Mirage Stalio and Heat Leo, so that is 4,300, so it gets 2,150, so it goes up to 4,950. Um, our opponent's monster is only on 500, so what we can do is we can ditch the Spiny to give this the extra 500, which makes it a clear cut over our opponent, and this card does double the attack when it attacks a monster with different attack from its original attack. So this is currently sitting at 4,950 plus the 500, um, 5,450. Um, then of course once per battle, during damage calculation, if this monster battles an opponent's monster whose current attack is different from its original attack, um, you can double this card's attack during damage calculation only. So of course this attack then goes up to um, maths 5,800, 5,900, something like that. Uh, higher than that, sorry, 10,000, 10,900 um, off the top of my head. So then this crashes through a card that's already on 500 attacks. You've got the full swinger for that, um, and that is obviously going to be the OTK game. This then also allows you to keep the Rage in hand that you've saved and a Salaman Great Circle. So you can use Circle to um, protect this by monster effect if you want. If they survive somehow, I doubt they very, very will. But if they find some way to survive, you still have plays to go off with um, to kind of extend your board as well. If they do survive that, then fair play to them. They've done something right. Um, there we go. So now we're going to go through those again. So you can see how quite, it's, it's a lengthy process to get to the OTK, but if you do it right, you know, it's pretty much game 99% of the time. So now let's do our final test and go in second, um, and then we can show the consistency of this deck off a little bit more. So there we go, after a decent shuffle, our last test hand of six will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this isn't as amazing as it was, but it's still very, very good. Because what we can do is we can normal summon the Jaguar, link the Jaguar away into a Belenix. Belenix effect goes off chain at one, Gazelle goes off chain at two. If our opponent tries to like double hand trap us, I don't know, Ghost Ogre and, and Ash Blossom, we're going to double call by the grave of them. Uh, Gazelle's effect as Chainlink 2 can send um, Foxy. Belenix is, of course, going to add the Sanctuary. Now, it's a little bit difficult in here because we don't have Spiny um, to kind of bring back 
Um, as of yet, sorry, I've just noticed we've got circle in hand, do we? Uh, so we're going to activate circle as well. Um, circle is then, of course, going to search spiny. Discard spiny, giving Bellinix. Um, I apologise, in the last test stand, I already used Spiny's first one, so we wouldn't get the 500 swing over, but not that it matters too much anyway, it still would have been game. Spiny then can come, bring itself back, go into your Mirage Stalio. Mirage Stalio is then going to use this effect. Now, the disappointing thing here is Jaguar is already in the grave, so what we'd be summoning would just be a nice additional extender. So, let me have a look. We've got, we've got Meh, Mole, or... Falco, let's go with Falco, something different, something new. I haven't used in a combo before. Okay, so then what we can do is we can use the Bellinix and go into Wolf. Now obviously what we want to be doing here is we want to try and build up into the Heat Leo to reduce our opponent's attack, which is why we're saving the Sanctuary. Um, so going into the Sunlight Wolf, um, if a monster is normal or special summoned to his own, his points to you add a fire monster back to our hands. So we can use Foxy if we wanted to discard one of these, which we ideally don't want to be doing right now. Uh, so we're going to go into Jaguar. So now that we've done that, this is where this triggers. So this would then go off to add a fire monster from our grave to our hand. So let me just double check this. If it's closer to the grave, target monster on the grave, a trap card in your grave, set that target onto your field. Um, so this would then let us set our circle. Not that's much use to us right now. Target one Solomon Grey Monster you control except itself, return that monster to the hand and if you do special on this card. So let's add back let's add back as well. We now got this card follow for um just double check. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we've now got this card follow for Foxy, which is great. Uh, so then what we want to do is we want to go into Wolf again. Wolf's gonna break itself down. You're then going to use the effect of well, there's no need to really, there's no spell or trap to kind of set, so we didn't actually need to do that. You can keep the wolf, you just use Jaguar and Wolf and go straight into Heat Leo. I don't know why I'm trying to add extra steps. Sounds like uh, we've extra steps. Um, so we're going to the first Heat Leo. Uh, we're going to activate the Sanctuary. Uh, Sanctuary is then going to let us tag out the Heat Leo. Heat Leo, of course, would have spun a back row, and this is going to spin another back row. Um, then this allows us to target one of our opponent's monsters and target one in the grave. So again, you want to go for the lowest attack in your grave, which is Bellinix. Turn our opponent's monsters attack to zero. Uh, if you're worried about back row, then of course you can use Marsh Stalio in this. Otherwise, you're just going to use Fusion or Fire, get rid of the Heat Leo and the Gazelle. We don't need to boost his attack up as high as we did before. Um, and then of course we've got the Chimera ability going off now. So that is going to attack the target that Heat Leo has targeted. Um, we've reduced their attack to 500. This is going up by an extra 1,150 plus 750. 2,000? Is that right? 2,000? No, it's not right. 1,900. So it's going up to an A to 4, 7. Maths on the top of my head. Uh, so it's going up to 4-7. It's then going to attack a monster that is on 500, so its attack difference is going to be 4-2. And it's going to double that during damage calculation to be 8-4. That is then going to be, obviously, your OTK game. If they do manage or you want to try and bait something out, you'd go with this. Alternatively, like I said, you keep the Gazelle in hand for your plays the next turn. So you'll manage your resources, activate the Fusion Fire, send the um, Mirage Stalio. That will then trigger one of your opponent's cards. If at some point um, you were able to get one of the spells or traps to the grave, you got a bit more defense. But in this kind of play, the only reason you'd go this far is because you're like, right, my opponent's not got anything. I'm going to OTK them, and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, so, of course, they have to have a monster for the OTK to go through. Um, but it's not too hard to do so. You could put Kaijus in this deck as well if you wanted to, to guarantee you always have a monster in a tap position for your opponent. Which is why Dogran, the Mad Flame Kaiju, came in the starter. Uh, but as you saw, we very rarely used Borrow Sword, um, Unicorn, Borrow Load. Um, you very rarely venture outside of the actual Salaman Great cards. These are just um, alternative options should your Route 1 play fail. And that is what um, Salaman Greats are all about. Is it's nice, easy, Route 1 kind of plays um, that are very, very consistent and very, very powerful. So, 
that is it for the Salomon Great Test Hands. A lot straightforward uh, and quite simple on the kind of way that these play and operate. Um, I hope this kind of helped you guys. I hope this kind of made it um, simple to see. I mean, I could do the combos for you and show you step by step. But this you just kind of see what, how consistent the opening hands can be for this deck as well. Um, so it does give you a lot to play around with and a lot to kind of think about as well. So for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. So, guys, as we mentioned at the start of the video, we are giving away to three lucky winners, an Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. It is very, very simple to enter. All you have to do is follow us on Facebook, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and, of course, put down in the comments below what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it is Valentine's Day after all. We might as well see what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. Is it the different types of attributes? Is it the names? Some names just make them funny. Some names you think are really, really nice. Is it the artwork? Trust me, some of the artwork is amazing. Is it some of the effects? I mean, let's be honest, there are some kooky effects out there on certain cards, and then there are some really, really powerful cards as well. Doesn't matter what you like about it, just tell us what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. We are all for it. So, simple as that, all you have to do is put that in the comments below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, give it a big thumbs up guys, uh, and then of course follow us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. It's very, very simple to enter, very, very simple to win, um, just do all of those steps, and by all means, we will then announce the winners at some point next week. But, for now, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and as always guys, happy dueling. What's up YouTube, Dad here from Zephyr War Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more. And as always, guys, happy dueling.